Hello and welcome to RTR TV. I'll tell you what, it's, it's amazing how a couple of months can make all the difference to a woodland. This is the wood this is the woodland I did I tested um when I got the new accessories for my bush box XL and uh you know it was all open then. But after you know, in the summer, my god, trying to get to the same spot, getting through all this been pretty hard there's a bit of a clear in here but uh, yeah it's experiment time again I've got some strikeable fire lighters I'm gonna try and cook some spam on it and obviously have a coffee I'm gonna try use just using the, the um, strikeable fire lighters in my little bush box uh, you know the two pound 81 uh, little mini one I bought um, and see how that works just using the, the fire lighters as a to cook on so I'm gonna find a spot hopefully in the shade and then uh, I'll bring you back when I'm getting set up see you in a minute Ooh. yeah look at this I barely move for it all amazing oh, found a clearing over there quite near a road so you might hear a car go by every now and then but I just want to find a shady spot that's all I don't want to be sat out in the sun uh, maybe somewhere around here nothing to do right let's get set up so yeah that's the little two pound 81 stove I'll keep it in with my bush box Excel and uh, what I'm gonna use I'll use the um, the plate to put it on the uh, stand oh. yeah, that one so I'm gonna set this up put it on in so it's got a nice you know don't really want to put that on the forest floor so let's get this set up Get these fire lighters on before uh, I'll do that. I'll show you the fire lighters. Got them from Asda. Uh, barbecue fire, strikeable fire lighters, and there's 24 in there. And it says it's non toxic, odorless, clean to handle, strikes like a match. So, I'll tell you what, let's have a quick look. So what have we got in here? Here we go, look. 12 in a pack. Strikeable. I think they'll 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 fit in that bush box, little mini bush box just about right I think. I'll put probably put about half a dozen in six of these in there, six or seven. If I can get them in there. And can I cook with it? That's the thing. So let's get the bush box set. Up. I think that's the next thing. So there it is, all set up and ready to go. So let's just try and see. So they're all like together. Yeah. See how many I can get in there. I was thinking I was going to put, say, six in there. five six and it says they burn for about 10 minutes so and these cost two pounds for 24 fire lighters and uh yeah um i might actually use let me think. Well, I'm going to get everything ready to go straight away. So the water in the kettle. I'm going to get the um, spam. I bought some uh, well, some cheap spam, you know, as the zone <laughs> spam. I'm going to slice that up before before I like this. So, so everything's ready to go. So I'll bring you back in a minute. So I've got my kettle ready. Got my pan. 
I'll put the oil in a minute and this is where you strike on the um, so obviously when I strike one it should ignite the rest hopefully and then I'll get the water straight on my coffee's all ready to go so let's do this So, tell you what, I'm going to give that the others a bit of encouragement because they seem to be. Uh... Oh, here we go. Right. Oh. So, there you go, we're ablaze. Now, will it do this? That's the question. That is the question. I think the smoke that's coming off of that is mainly from the uh, the kettle. Yeah, so look, it's not there's no smoke coming off of that actually. So it's all from the bottom of the kettle where I've used it on wood fires. This is my wood wood burning kettle. I hope it does it. <laughs> Tell you what I did forget to bring with me. It's gloves. So I'm going to get some oil in here. Shouldn't need too much. Then again, I haven't got too much. <laughs> near the kettle is boiling. I might just have to use the old string bag, kettle string bag to pick that kettle up because those flames are licking across the top quite good. And I'm also going to open this spam. Of course you got the key to do it with. I think it's doing it you know. Strikeable fire lighters, how cool is that? So I'll get this going, so it's open, ready to go. Oh look, it's boiling already. Wow, that's so cool. Right, without burning myself. Wow. That is, that works. That's amazing. Okay, I'm going to open this first. We'll put the uh, put this on. And don't worry, I've got water nearby just in case. I'm well impressed with that. I've got to say, that is chucking out quite a bit of heat. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I've got a feeling I might not even have needed that many fire lighters. Just going to chop up this spam. Right, let's get some of this on. I think I'm only going to need four bits. Four bits of spam should do it. Do wish I bought my gloves though. Got a bit of spam left over. Right. Didn't take long to start cooking, did it? It's a bit of leftover spam. That's working really well, isn't it? Mmm. Beautiful. Oh look. Starting to die down. Let's get another couple of fire lighters in there. 
thing, I'm only going to need two. Yeah, I'll put another, just another two in there. And I think that'll do it, you know. Because it's nearly done already. Amazing. Time for a sip of coffee, I think. Goes quite well. over again. Lovely. Obviously it's burnt all the smoke off the bottom of the pan now. So that's good. And they do burn quite cleanly. Good. Let me get my bread ready. Got some brown cut sachets of brown salt as well. Wow. Yeah, it's going good. Strikeable fire lighters. Cooking with strikeable fire lighters. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're well done, aren't they? Just pulled it that side, I think. There we go. Doing the job. I think that'll do, actually. So there we go. Can you cook with strikeable fire lighters? Yes, you can. Let's get them in the bit of bread. I'll just let that burn down, I think. One bit of spam. Two. I only need a three, really, didn't I? Put this one in the middle for good measure. Look at that. So eight fire lighters did it to perfection. Oh, there's a beetle over there. But anyway, let's get this brown sauce on it. There you go, look, and it's just gone out. Perfect. That was perfect. Let's get this brown sauce in this bread. Yeah, that should be enough. Spread it all about. You know the score. Evenly spread. Mm -mm. Oh, fairly evenly spread. <laughs> nice. So there we go. I'm going to get this cup of coffee, a nice cup of coffee and a nice as the Spam sandwich cooked with eight strikeable fire lighters. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to be civilised about this, I'm going to slice this, I'm going to cut this sandwich in half. Sorry about the dirty hands, it's uh, these wood stoves. Very nice. Work to treat. I think it boiled that kettle in about four minutes. That's quicker, I think. Amazing. Oh 
going. Ooh. And only two pound as well. <clears throat> two pound for twenty four. I don't think they burnt for 10 minutes. Maybe 8 minutes, something like that, 7 or 8 minutes. But it was quick enough to get it all going, wasn't it? And just two more to finish the job. Mm. Two pounds. I'm going to sit and finish this. Let the stove uh, cool down. And uh, yeah, bring you back in a minute. So there, it burns down to practically nothing. So that's good. But this is my view for the day where I'm sitting. Lovely, eh? <clears throat> it's amazing how the seasons change a woodland. <laughs> it actually seems like a summer's day today. Wait for that to cool down. Drink the coffee. Such a perfect day. Drink sangria in the park. Have a spam sandwich in the woods and then home. <laughs> There's some sort of hawk up there. I'm sure it is. I see it circling. Making hawk like noises. Don't know if you can hear that hawk. Don't know what type it is. There we go. Coffee's all done. And uh, just empty that kettle. Dregs of the water. Let's have a feel. Oh, yeah, look, it's all burnt down to nothing. I'll turn you around, we'll empty it into the uh, XL, Bushbox XL stand. So, this is all the uh, stone cold, cold as ice. I really like this um, stove. £2.81, you can't complain. The only thing you, you possibly would complain about are the burrs where it's been stamped out. So, then again, £2.81 for God's sake. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll probably show you all this before when I did a video on it. Comes with a plate that's got no holes in it in the bottom. Still got the plastic bit on that one, but you know, when I'm using it in conjunction with this, I'll probably never use that. So, yeah, get them all in order. There we go. Put them all away.
There you go. Two pound eighty one. That wood stove, these wood burners, um, strikeable fire lighters, cost us almost the same as this did. <laughs> two pound for the striker, twenty four strikeable lighters. Two pound eighty one for that. Brilliant. And of course, it does slot nicely inside with the bush box XL. There we go. Cool. So it's time to put everything away now. Kettle. I mean, this is my wood burning kettle I got from the cheapest cook set I could find on Amazon. I think that was less than a tenner. It's worth it just for that kettle. I'm just going to uh, rinse my cup out. Indeed. <clears throat> Obviously, as always, I will wash it properly. Wow. I'll give it a proper rinse through when I get home. Good old RTR cup. <laughs> uh, right, let's get everything put away. So there you go, all packed up. Cooking with strikeable fire lighters. Does it work? You bet it does. You bet it does. Right, so that's where I'll, that's where the, the uh, stuff is set up. Just about there. I can just see it there. Leave no trace. As, as always, that is the uh, the code that we all follow, isn't it? That we all should follow. Right now, I've got to find my way out of this woodland. It was easy in the winter, not so easy now. Anyway, thanks for coming along and uh, sitting on an, uh, sitting in on this experiment. I think it worked a treat. Like I say, boiled that water in about four minutes. The uh, Cooking the spam took about, I don't know, eight minutes, something like that. Eight fire lighters. So, yeah, wonderful. Works good. Thanks for coming along. So, I'll see you next time when I'm roving about, wherever it may be. I'll see you then. Bye.